Complex rescue scenarios are accomplished by combining a series of standard rope access maneuvers in sequence to access and transport the casualty to safety. In this scenario, under the direction of the Level 3 supervisor, the team has combined a haul and lowering system to lift a casualty off a simulated ledge and move him horizontally. They will combine the basic hauling and lowering maneuvers with building a diagonal tensioning line and then use teamwork to transfer the casualty to a new position. A Petzl rigging plate is used to keep attachment points clear and organized. The rescuers ascend to a position above the casualty and have completed building the hauling systems. Independent anchors are built for each of the hauling system's working and safety ropes. Petzl IDs are rigged as the rope capture device for the haul systems. Petzl shunts are used as the rope capture device for the backup safety. A Petzl basic and pulley combination make up the traveling portion of the 3 to 1 haul system. The control rope is then redirected through a second pulley attached to the carabiner supporting the ID. This will allow the technician to pull downward on the haul control rope to lift the load. The rescuers continue the hauling process, tending the safety rope and resetting the system when needed. Note that the ID is locked off each time the system is reset. Here the rescuer removes the rope grab from the system and connects the pulley directly to the rigging plate at the casualty's chest. This allows him to gain just the small amount of additional height he will need to transfer the casualty onto the diagonal tension line. The rescuers have used two additional sets of ropes for this scenario, 
to rig a double diagonal tension line that will be used to guide the casualty's descent. A double sheave pulley is attached to the tension lines and then connected to the casualty. Two carabiners are used to maintain redundancy in the system. Each diagonal guideline is rigged at the destination using a self-locking descent device as the tensioning device. This allows the system to be easily adjusted to position the casualty more accurately. The lowering line is rigged through a Petzl ID. The safety rope is rigged through a shunt and a stopper knot tied in the free end. The slack is worked out of each system and the components are checked for proper action. A carabiner is added to redirect the control line while the casualty is lowered onto the new system. The original hall system is dismantled in favor of the new lowering system, which the rescuers felt offered a better working position. Care must be taken to ensure that all systems are well organized and that the ropes are kept separate and are not fouled. A carabiner is added to redirect the control line of the new system and the tension is released from the backup safety. The second rescuer has moved to the casualty's destination at the anchor points of the diagonal tension line. The remaining rescuer lowers the casualty while keeping the amount of slack in the safety line to a minimum. Finding a suitable method of paying out the backup rope in a working position may require making some adjustments to your working position. As the casualty is lowered out, the tension lines continue to guide his controlled diagonal descent.
Our redirect is past. Rescuers at the landing area help to bring the casualty through an obstructed opening and into the staging area for handoff to EMS. 